M particle audiences are a powerful tool that allows you to create a list of users by defining a set of qualifying criteria in a codeless way. Once activated, these user lists can be pushed to over 70 supported M particle audience partners for the purposes of lookalike advertising, monetization, and personalization all in real time. Let's go ahead and dive into building our first audience. From the activity overview page, we're gonna to wanna to click on audiences and then real-time audiences. And here you're gonna to get to see a list of all the audiences that have currently been created. But in order to create a new one, we can either move over to the top right and click on the new audience button here. Or conversely, we can scroll down to the bottom and hover over the plus icon at the bottom to create our new audience. So let's click in. And the first thing we're gonna be asked to do is give our audience a name. In this example, I'm looking for mobile app purchasers within the last 30 days. So let's go ahead and call our, our audience mobile purchasers last 30 days. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select the various inputs that you want this audience to consider. And again, given that this is a, a mobile only audience, we are gonna select Android and iOS. Let's go ahead and hit create next. And this is where you'll really be able to define the criteria for which you want MParticle to either qualify users into this audience or disqualify them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add criteria. I will select e-commerce and I'm looking for the purchase event. And here I'm going to add a recency frequency criteria. So I'm gonna want greater than zero events. So one or more purchase event within the last 30 days. Let's go ahead and save this. At this point, we have the logic set up such that MParticle will pull a list of all users on iOS and Android who have made at least one purchase within the last 30 days. Let's go ahead and activate our audience. And the final step is to connect our audience to one of our configured audience outputs. In order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to hover over the connect output square. You'll click into that. And here's where you'll be able to select one of the configured outputs. So in this example, we will, we want to send this list to indicative. Once the connection status is set to active and you have configured sort of all the partner specific settings here, you can go ahead and activate this and add connection. At this point, we have created an audience, we've activated it, and we've connected it to an output. 